What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video from my Madden 25 Ultimate Team Budget Series. And today you're going to be learning how to get some great tight ends and fullbacks for under 10,000 coins. Now if you're new to this series, I want to welcome you and I want to direct your attention down below into the description because there you're gonna find some links to the previous videos that we've done from this series. We actually started off with offensive line, then we did defensive line, we've done wide receivers, we've done cornerbacks, safeties, and now we're gonna be focusing on tight ends and fullbacks today. So what we typically do in this series is that we take a budget card, and by budget I usually mean that the card's probably gonna be somewhere between 2,000 and 7,500 coins. And we take that card and compare it to a card that is usually at least 20,000 coins or more. A lot of times we get up to 50, 60,000 coin cards and we've even had a couple cards that are well over 100,000 coins. But the reason that we do this is not to say that the cheaper cards are better than the, than the higher price cards. The reason that we do this is because we wanna show that you can still put together a good team even if you don't have a million coins, even if you haven't put hundreds of dollars into this game. So with that being said, let's get down to the nitty gritty and let's take a look at the first comparison here. And the first cards that we're going to be looking at are our fullback cards. We've got Bruce Miller, the gold edition, he's 82 overall, and we've got Marcel Reese Elite, 94 overall. And I think that the major thing that we really need to think about here when we're talking about the fullback position is that we need to consider what it is that you want your fullback to do on your team. Now for me, if you've watched many of my videos, you know that typically I don't even run a fullback. I actually do have this Marcel Reese card, but really it's only there for show. I, I don't really need it. There's really no reason for me to have it. I can't really think of many sets at all other than goal line where he's even on the field. But if you are going to have a fullback, I think that it's important that you get a fullback that is going to do the thing that is most important for your offense and your style of offense specifically. So in Ultimate Team, most people consider that you're going to have pretty high overall quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers. You know, typically those are going to be the positions where you spend a lot of coins. Now on fullback, the 20,000 coins that you spend on Marcel Reese, we need to really analyze if that's worth it. And there are, of course, other Marcel Reese cards and, and uh, other more expensive fullback cards that kind of follow the same plot line. But... I think that the Bruce Miller card is a really good value at only 2,500 coins. And the reason for that is not because he's anywhere near as good as Reese with the ball in his hands. In fact, he's really bad with the ball. <laughs> I mean, he's got 73 speed, uh, his catching is terrible at 67, his trucking is just mediocre as all hell at only 62, but what he does have is excellent run blocking. He has 91 impact block, which is one of the highest impact blocks that you're going to find out of any fullback and he also has 87 run block and in those two things he crushes the Marcel Reese so you have to ask yourself what do I want to do with my fullback for me if I'm going to have a fullback on the field he's probably not going to touch the ball very often if at all so really what do I want him to do I want him to be blocking and in this case, when we compare the pure run blocking attributes between these two cards, Bruce Miller is a better run blocker. The only real advantage that Marcel Reese has in the blocking department is that he's 89 speed versus 73 speed. So if he does need to get down the field and pick up blocks on safeties, a lot of times he's gonna do that more quickly than the Bruce Miller card. However, he's also sometimes gonna get knocked right on his ass by some of the defenders. Bruce Miller is not going to have that problem very often. So again, to wrap up the fullback position, you got to consider what you want to do with these fullbacks. Bruce Miller is going to be a better blocker. Marcel Reese is going to be a way better player if you're throwing to him, if you're running with him. So again, just consider what you do with your fullbacks. In my opinion, most fullbacks should probably be run blocking, and that's all that I really care about. So that's going to do it for the fullback position. So let's transfer over now and start talking about tight ends. And again, we need to really consider what it is that your tight end is going to be doing. For a lot of people in Madden, your tight end needs to be a great pass catcher. So, the first cards that we're going to compare today are the 94 overall Greg Olson playoff card and the 95 overall Rob Gronkowski elite card. Now, first things first, the price difference between these two. 
Gronkowski, 62,000 coins. One of the most expensive non-legend tight ends in this game. 62,000 coins, guys. Now let's compare it to the Greg Olson, that's only 5,000 coins. Yeah, big difference. And now you're gonna ask yourself, which one of these guys is a better receiver? Well, if we look at the catch attribute, they both actually have 90 catching, so that's even. Spec catch, Greg Olson is actually an 88, versus the Gronkowski being just an 86. The Olsen does also have an 87 route running attribute, whereas Gronkowski is kind of sloppy at just an 81. Now where the Gronkowski does reach out and take the advantage is in the catch and traffic attribute. He has 95 catch and traffic. That is awesome. He is going to make those catches in the hard spots where he has to go between the safety and the linebacker. He's going to do a better job than Greg Olsen. However, Greg Olsen still has a 90 catch in traffic. And I don't really see that being a huge detriment to him. He's still going to be a good receiver overall. But the major thing that I found to be the difference between these two cards is actually that Olsen has five better speed. And I know that sounds kind of crazy because most people think of Gronkowski as being pretty quick and being able to get down the field and make big plays. But in reality, he actually is slower than Greg Olsen. And the cards will also show that. It is five difference in speed. And to me, that's huge. I need my tight end to have plenty of speed. I need him to be able to at least be faster than the linebackers. That, and to me, the Greg Olson card is that speed. He's 88 speed. He's going to be faster than almost all linebackers. Whereas Gronkowski at 83 speed is going to be slower than most of the linebackers that you're going to be going up against in Madden Ultimate Team. So, the Gronkowski does have an advantage in the run blocking and, and impact blocking attributes. And it is also an inch taller. But to me, overall, I think that this Greg Olson playoff card might be a better tight end for most people in Madden Ultimate Team. Because most people need the tight ends that have good speed, that can catch the ball, and that can get separation, which, which uh, Greg Olson's gonna be able to do with his 87 route running. So again, to me, Greg Olson, way better value at 5,000 coins. You could even argue that he's actually a better card than the, than the Rob Gronkowski. So now let's transfer over and talk a little bit about the next comparison that we have. And we've got the 93 overall Jordan Cameron Elite card, and we're going to be comparing it to the 95 overall Jason Witten Elite card. Now, very similarly to what we had with the previous slide, we're actually going to be talking about Again, what it is that you do with tight ends in your offense. So if your tight end is a run blocker, you need him to get nice blocks, guess what? Jason Witten's probably going to be the better guy for you. However, if you're like most people and you love to throw to your tight end, Jordan Cameron could be the better option. He's 10 speed faster. 10 speed, guys. Jason Witten is only 76 speed, and he's 35,000 coins, whereas Jordan Cameron is only 5,000 coins. You can save a ton of money if you like to throw to your tight end by getting Jordan Cameron. Now, Cameron does only have 83 route running, but if you remember, that is actually two better than the Rob Gronkowski that we compared in the last slide. Now, as a Cowboys fan, it's no surprise to me that Jason Witten has good catch stats. He's a 95 catch. He has 95 catch in traffic. But the surprising thing to me was that he only has a 78 spectacular catch. That was pretty surprising to me. Not that you are always going to be relying on your tight end to get spectacular catches, but when he needs to, it's nice to be able to have that attribute. And Jordan Cameron with an 86 spectacular catch is actually pretty good. And Witten with only a 78, man, to me that just doesn't do it. That just doesn't cut the mustard. So, to me, I think that there's a lot of value in this Jordan Cameron card. I think you could make the case, though, that the Witten is the better overall tight end. But man, at 76 speed, I, I just, to me, even though I'm a Cowboys fan, I can't have him on my team. I can't do it. He's too slow. He's not going to be able to get the kind of separation that you need. And he's just not worth 35,000 coins, guys. He just isn't. So to me, Jordan Cameron at 5,000 coins, way better value than Jason Witten at 35,000 coins. You can get Greg Olson and Jordan Cameron on your team for 10,000 coins, guys. And if you want to add on Bruce Miller on top of that, you're at 12,500 coins for the three of them. Now, before I end this video, I want to point out one more card 
that I think some people really overlook. And the card that I'm going to point out is one of my favorites, and I think some of you probably already know what I'm going to say here. Donald Penn, the Holiday Edition. 75 overall. I know, 75 overall. God awful, right? It's about 10,000 coins to purchase. However, if you're looking for a card that is a run-blocking expert, this card is out of control. There, it, there is not a tight end that comes anywhere near this card for run blocking. It's not even in the same vicinity as any of the other tight ends in this game. It has 94 strength, 93 run blocking, 86 impact block. I mean, if you compare it to the other cards that we've had here, I mean, we're talking like 20 better in most of those categories. And it still has a 90 catch and an 85 catch in traffic. That is crazy. It actually has the same catching attribute as Greg Olson and Rob Gronkowski, and it's two better than J Jordan Cameron. That is insane. Now, at only 60 speed, 50 route running, and 40 spec catch, he's really not going to be a guy that you can rely on as a big time pass catcher. But it's nice to know that with the 90 catching and the 85 catching traffic, if he is open, there are worse options, you know? I mean, if he's standing there at the first down marker and you, you could throw him the ball, go for it. He's most likely going to make the catch. And he is 6'5", too, which is a nice thing. So, overall, if you're looking for a pass-catching tight end, Greg Olson and Jordan Cameron, very good value. And if you're looking for a tight end to run block, there is not a better tight end than Donald Penn. I call him the IHOP employee of the month because he gets so many pancake blocks. I have literally had a game, guys, where this guy had... 20 pancake blocks in one game. You put him on the edge and you let him go after the linebackers. You let him go after the safety. Sometimes you'll hit a cornerback. I mean, he'll pick up multiple pancake blocks on a single run sometimes. It's ridiculous. Watch my video sometimes and just count how many pancake blocks he gets. It's unbelievable. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you did, please leave a like below and also leave a comment. Let me know if you guys have any questions or any suggestions. I also want to know what position you guys want to see next. We've only got a few left. I know a lot of people said linebacker last time, so that's what I'm kind of leaning toward. But let me know if there's another position that you guys are interested in seeing sometime soon. I'll probably have that video up, I'm guessing, Tuesday. So thank you guys again for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.